Um, so this area in darker brown is the space open to the public. It's only a little part um, of all of the large city of Teotihuacan. comes from the fact that beginning in the 16th century, a council of the sun god was worshipped in this immense monument. Large-scale exploration of it was undertaken in 1906 by Leopoldo Batres upon orders from the president Porfirio Por 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 Diaz. My friend here is helping me. Um, the twin Holly. purpose was to emphasize the cultural wealth of the Mexican people expressed in their pre-Hispanic works and to celebrate Mexico's 100 years of independence in 1910. Archaeological investigations at this monument indicate that its construction is carried out in a single operation and show that its interior is solid and forms from sand and dirt fills. The tunnels seen on its sides have been dug by various researchers in order to learn something about its history and construction system. It's more or less in the Ta Kuali phase, 1 to 100 AD, and the next phase, Mi Kuat, 100 to 250 AD. A platform was added in front of its main facade, and then parallel to it, two temples were built on its north and south sides. Three overlying levels of construction have been found. The last and most recent can be seen at the base of the north, south, and east sides of the pyramid one notes that the building rests upon a huge platform surrounded by a moat. The overall shape of the monument as seen today belongs to the building's penultimate construction phase, second to last. According to recent studies, there are errors in the reconstruction carried out early in this century, since it is shown with five terraces instead of the original four. The top of the pyramid was once crowned by a temple where religious rites associated with the deity to which this building was dedicated comma were carried out. <laughs> Where's my audience? <laughs> what the heck? during archaeological explorations in 1963. It is part of a group of platforms and temples that comprise an architectural unit known as the Puma Complex. Um, this representation acquaints one with the type of decoration on the slope panel facade of the building located on both sides of the Avenue of the Dead. In the scene shown here, you will see the profiled portrayal of a large wild cat, probably a puma, with open jaws and large claws protruding from its paws. It is painted over a background of slanting bands, alternately colored red, white, and green, symbolizing an aquatic atmosphere. The panel molding is decorated with green circles that represent chalchihuitis, or precious stones. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. That's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. It hunts lions. Or it did. Oh, you are facing a sculpture made of a single large rock. Um, unfortunately, the face of this personage is extremely damaged. Nevertheless, we can still see the folds over the abdomen, a rectangular opening at the mid chest, a necklace with three strands of. <laughs> Show the rock. With three strands of squared, be squared beads, as well as some teeth, the nose, and eyes. This is the goddess Chalchi Chlukwa Tlalops. Companion. Because she is located next to the plaza's central altar, altar, it is possible that rituals and ceremonies associated to water and life were conducted here as offerings to this goddess. So you can obviously still see the, the necklace with the three strands of square beads. You can. You can see the nose, the teeth. I agree. <laughs> Take it in me. This is a video.